Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It is Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I am so happy to be with you today. I'm not typically with you on a Monday, and um, but I wanted to kick off a full week of Facebook Lives with you, daily Facebook Lives. Um, many of you are aware that here in Texas, we had like our whole world shut down last week. Um, with not only record-breaking snows and record-breaking temperatures as well as length of time that they stayed at record-breaking levels. Hey Gail, I'm glad you're here. But we had um, the temperatures and the snow would have been, you know, we could have handled that. It would have been challenging, even though it's not typically something that we do. Um, but yeah, we had so many power outages and people without water and you know, like our grocery stores were shut down, most businesses shut down, even the post office was shut. We, we had no mail, we had no, uh, we had no internet for um, like five days. So feeling rather cut off from everybody. Thank, we were very grateful for the radio so we could hear what was going on in the world. But it was a crazy week. And I felt like I kind of, I, I wasn't here. So typically I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday. So I felt like, well, coming back into this week where things are getting back to normal, they're still restocking our grocery store shelves and things like that. But I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to do seven days of Facebook Live. And so um, I am typically, uh, hey Gail, I'm glad that you're watching from Virginia. And Diane, I know you had it even colder than we did up in the North Texas area. And Susie, I'm glad you're here. Um, yes, the grocery store I talked about in my email was the Elan HEB. It was the oddest experience. Um, I didn't go until Wednesday. I had enough of everything. I had stocked up but we were very low on just regular milk. And so I thought, you know, I'd heard neighbors talking about how long the lines were to get in. I thought by Wednesday, maybe the lines would be shorter and they were, but after standing in line, you know, then you get up to the front of the store. They were only letting you in at one entrance. And there was a, a very nice gentleman telling us there's no electricity in the store. Um, we're operating on a generator that is only, um, giving us enough power for the cash registers and light in the center, kind of the center part of the store. All the, where the shelves were was quite dark. And um, to be honest, I felt a little bit like I was in Russia because they said, there's no milk, there's no meat, there's no eggs, and there's no firewood. They told us that before we ever walked in the door. I guess to say, you know, if you're looking for those, you can just go on home. Um, it was really, really odd. So even though there wasn't milk, I decided to go in and just grab a couple of things. Um, Hayla said, I'm glad you're here. So it was, yeah, it's been really, really odd. We were so fortunate that we never lost power um, here on our street. Most of our neighborhood did. Uh, we're on a street that's cul-de-sac on both ends and we're on a separate transformer. And typically when we lose power, the rest of the neighborhood doesn't and vice versa. So, um, so Diane, you did not lose power or water. Yeah, very good. So it's been a crazy, crazy week and the aftermath is still, you know, um, kind of transpiring. So I just thought, well, let's do, it's kind of the last week of celebration as well. So many of you are aware that this um, is the coming up to the end of celebration. The end of February is the last day of celebration which means it's the last day that you can get in on the cool um, exclusive items that you can get when you place a 50 or $100 order. You get items for t free, completely free. Um, it's also the end of our phenomenal, phenomenal joining special when you can join Stampin' Up! and uh, join my Southern Sweet Stampers community. And uh, the, the um, added extra during celebration is you get a whole bunch of designer paper for free. So Lisette, I, I'm so glad to, um, to see you here today. I miss you too. And I, I know Roscoe, um, I'm sure that your doggy too had a, maybe a, a, a good time with the snow. Roscoe, it didn't phase him. He quite liked the, uh, the heavy drifts of snow and having not seen snow, uh, but, you know, I don't know. I think the DNA is there because he's a Welsh Corgi. 
So I think he's kind of built for the snow, even though he's a low rider, very low to the ground. But I will share some pictures uh, here. So when I finish today, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the camera down so we can see what's happening here. Um, just, it has been, um, it's been a week. It has, well, last week. So I typically, I really enjoy Mondays. I think it, they're fantastic to me. Like Monday is uh, the beginning of a fresh week. And so um, I've always liked Mondays. I can tell you that this one <laughs> is even more welcome than the others have been. So, um, you know, being able to be back in with uh, my business, back with our people. Um, we had, we've had church, we've had live church since the, be well, since Mother's Day. We were, we didn't have live church for several weeks at the beginning of the pandemic, but we have had live church since Mother's Day, and then we didn't because we were snowed in. Um, many of you are aware my husband's a pastor. So, uh, oh, Gail, you have two corgis. Oh, yeah, Roscoe is our second corgi. He is a um, he is a Pembroke Welsh corgi, and we he's absolutely so fabulous. Okay, enough chit chat. I need to get on with what I am here. Well, I'm actually here. Having said that, to build community and chit chat with you and be your little bit of maybe lunchtime entertainment and ins creative inspiration because I know like Susie's here and she's on the West Coast. Uh, up in Washington. So it's lunchtime for her. For me, it's two. So I just finished lunch with my hubby. And uh, some of you are in between there or after. So um, I'm glad to be able to be here with you and just connect with you and uh, inspire you with all things uh, stamping and just with life, you know. And Simone is here. Let me just see if I missed anybody. Okay, so let's see. We are going to do something fun today. I have a fun fold for you today. And um, I'm going to be using this uh, bundle here. So during celebration, you can actually get this set of beautiful um, designer series papers and the stamp set. You get all of that for free when you make a $100 purchase. So the stamps are a photopolymer stamp set, so you can see right through them. And uh, one of the cool things about this is that there is a um, coordinating stamp set and um, punch, a bundle, in the um, spring catalog as well. Let me show you that for reference. And um, they coordinate because they are, it's the strawberries. And let me just find it. I thought, I thought I turned right to it, but I did not. So let me just show you that because I think it gives you a lot of extra mileage with these, um, with the stamps and the papers because you get a, you can get a second full stamp set with the whole kind of berry theme. But then there's also this super cute punch that will actually punch out the strawberries in the paper and such. So let's see, it's on page 44 of the catalog. So here is the catalog. So you can see that this is, um, these very much coordinate. So here with the celebration one, you get the blueberries and the raspberries. With the uh, uh, spring catalog one, you get the strawberries and um, these cute little flowers that are part of the punch. So the punch will stamp, you can punch and stamp out the flowers. And then this little guy over here is the little um, stem and leaf for the strawberries. So, oh, you're working with this as I am talking. Very good, Gail. And yes, Susie, I know. Those of us who are, um, who are faith-loving girls, this little, um, Bountiful Blessings is a super cute, um, just a super cute uh, kind of little little mini faith tie-in. But yeah, these are very bright, happy, um, you know, this is part of just God's creation, the strawberries and the blueberries and the raspberries. 
So let me show you where we're gonna go today with our fun fold. And I'm gonna be using the stamp set and the papers. And I'm going to make um, two, uh, two versions of the same card. Hey Velma, I'm glad you're here. We will take you late. We, we don't mind you being late at all. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this pattern here. And let me show you this fun fold. I think you're gonna really like it. I've kind of been glutting on it. I kind of get on a kick a lot of times. And I start in one spot and then I just kind of camp out. So I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. Let me grab this and this. I think that's probably all I need. Now, let me show you where I started and where my inspiration came from. So this was, I'm, I'm recreating this card here, and I actually just really love this. Oh, and I forgot the, oh, okay. I always remember something when I sit down. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. So this is the fun fold part of this, is this is going to fold out. And I love the fact that this uses a 12 by three inch piece of designer series paper. So you can get four of these out of a single piece of designer paper. This is the little panel I forgot to cut. So I may pop over and do that. Um, and this is the Forever Greenery designer series paper. And so I really, really, I, I made this and then I ended up making some similar ones for my team for next month um, for some of my top achievers. And I thought, you know what, I'm just, I'm kind of in that groove. I'm gonna go with that for today's Facebook Live. And I love being able to share a new fun fold with you. So let me show you what we start with. So what we're gonna do is, we're starting with, this is a quarter sheet of cardstock. This is five and a half by four and a quarter. And then we're just gonna layer a four by five and a quarter piece. And then we're gonna add the paper. Now, I've, I have cut this at 12 by three, and then I've scored it at four inches and eight inches. So you could go, see how you could go with more of the greens, more of the leaves, but I really wanted to showcase the berries. So this is where I'm going to go, right like so. Now on my original, I did some, um, I did some um, dry embossing with the um, Big Boss, but I just thought, you know what? I want to really, really celebrate this stamp set. So I think what I'm going to do is take this leaf image and I'm just going to do some tone on tone stamping and see if this will give us a kind of an effect of texture without adding actual texture. Sharon, I'm so glad you're here today and I think this is an awesome fun fold. I think you're going to really enjoy. I think I've done several versions of it. Like I said, I this was where I started and then I ended up doing it for my team uh, achievers for next month, trying to work ahead for a change. And um, ended up really, it just has, I think, it, I think it particularly lends itself to kind of busy patterns of designer series paper. So all I'm doing here, because this is going to be covered up like so, I'm going to just go around the edges and alternate my stamp back and forth so that you don't get the same exact um, image each time. You wanna kind of change it up a little bit. Hey Kim, I'm glad you're joining us from Michigan. Now you see, in Michigan, you're used to all this snowy weather. We, we uh, South Texans, this is a, a new thing. Peggy, I'm so glad to see you here today. Welcome, welcome. And, Oh, I'm spitting as I'm talking. <laughs> Not very ladylike. Oh, <laughs> well. Um, and Jackie, yeah, I think fun folds is something that we all enjoy. And, you know, sometimes we call them fun folds. Sometimes we call them fancy folds. And, you know, they're both, the, the terms are both accurate. Um, I chose to call this one a fun fold because it's a little bit more casual. And that, to me, is kind of what makes it a, a difference between a fun fold or a fancy fold. So there, all I've done is just some subtle stamping around the edges, tone on tone. And this is Poppy Parade, 
which is one of the colors in this designer series paper. So that is where we're gonna go. And you can see that this is really quick to put together. And then what I, let me go ahead and put this down first before I go any farther. And I am using my Tombow um, liquid glue. And one of the reasons is because I find that when you go to put down your designer series paper, you, you may need to shift it a little bit. And based on that, I wanna make sure that, I'm, uh, that I place it accurately. The other thing about this fancy fold or fun fold is that um, sometimes when you score your paper and then you fold it, where did I put the bone folder? It's probably right in front of my face. Sometimes you get a little bit off kilter. Hmm. Okay, I just used the bone folder. Where is it? Ah, there we go. So what I recommend is that you go ahead and just really, really line these up. See, I've got a little bit of a overhang there. And really get your score lines situated so that this folds up on itself really tidily because you do want to be able to um, you do want to be able to uh, close it in such a way that it's almost hidden okay so let's go ahead and put some glue on the back here and you can see as well this is really easy on your supplies I mean it just use a little bit of adhesive there and then really that is it. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit of decoration on the front. Now, bear in mind, you have a pretty small um, focal point here. This is four inches by three inches. So I don't wanna overwhelm it with anything too large. What I'm gonna use is wishing you the very best. And I really liked on my original, I used this framelit from, this is the um, Ornate Frames. These were originally in our holiday catalog two years ago and have been in our annual catalog since. And I love the fact that you have some of these that are a little bit more um, trim, but they still have these kind of nice little um, uh, curves and then you've got a couple of really fancy lacy ones and sometimes you just need that little small tag so these have a lot of um, a lot of uses for words and things and this was just kind of I thought this was a nice size to go with my um, to go with the greeting that I wanted to use here so with that in mind I cut several so that I would Kind of see what would look better here and I actually cut out of just jade which is underneath here and I also cut from mint macaron because it is the is the lighter counterpart of just jade so this is definitely you know brings in not really a different color it brings in a different shade or I could go with the um, just Jade. So this is, just to remind you, Just Jade is one of our new end colors from this year. And um, I like it a lot. I think it's got a lot to recommend it. And now I just did what I shouldn't do. And that is, I had that. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this is what happens when I start talking. There's my stamp. I had not put it on a block, which is a no-no to put a, because you know these stamps are so sticky. If you don't put it on a block, It'll stick to whatever you've got on your surface. Um, yeah, Kim, I think some of us got those during the holiday catalog and we haven't used them much, but I think that really they go with a lot of, you know, a lot of our smaller words. And then, you know, like if you just want a little hang tag somewhere, some of those little ones will do that as well. So let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, the, um, Ay, ay, ay. Just Jade. And I'm going to use, this is actually a trifecta of greens right here. Um, shaded Spruce being the deepest, uh, Just Jade being the medium, and Mint Macaron being the palest. 
this is a beautiful trifecta of your uh, more bluey greens, the cooler greens. So um, just by way of instruction, as it were, don't know that I actually need the mat, but I'll use it since I have it out. So wishing you the very best. And what I may step over and cut is I need a three and three quarter by two and three quarter panel to put on the inside because that is where you want to be able to write. You obviously can't write on this. So you do need a little panel on the inside there of just plain, you know, just whisper white cardstock. So, um, and I honestly, because of the way this is folding out, um, I am going to put a little bit of, um, I'm gonna put dimensionals under here, and I think I might also just do a little bit of shading around it. A lot of times, if you, if you like the colors, but you feel like, you know, that could use a little bit, it just needs a little bit of oomph. A lot of times, if you just do some tone-on-tone -tone sponging, so this is just jade ink with just jade um, cardstock, and it just kind of brings it out a little bit. It's almost like putting a frame on it without having to add an extra layer of frame. So that is going to be there. I am going to attach it with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So let me grab a couple of these. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of pizzazz. So let's go here like this. On my original, you know what? No, let's go. Ay, ay, ay. Whoops. Okay. I need to stick to the template, Candy. Stick to the original. Okay. So there's where we're going there. Now we're gonna put a little bit of a ribbon and I could put this lovely gingham. This is the Just Jade gingham. Kinda of goes nicely with the berries. I could inject a little bit of white. So this is the uh, tool, the white dotted tool, which just kind of reminds me of the whole, I don't know, reminds me of a picnic. And um, then I also have the white, um, seam binding. So tell me what you think about that. While you're thinking, while you're kind of weighing in on that, I'm going to grab some white cardstock so that I can make those panels. Let's see if anybody's going to give me some design advice here. Okay, so Kim likes the sponging. I haven't heard anybody weigh in on the um, on the ribbons as yet. So let's see where we're going on that. And I'm gonna bring this camera down just a little bit. Hopefully not making you seasick in the process. Okay, the green, the white tool. Let's see if we have a third choice or if we have a second vote on one of those. Let's see where we get the gingham. Okay, that's the second second vote for the gingham, so I think I'm going to go with that. Never fear, I have another, we're going to make another version of this card using a different pattern of the um, of this designer series paper. So a whole different color scheme using the same paper and um, same stamps. So I do like to uh, kind of change it up a little bit and kind of show the versatility of the products that we're working with. I, I do think that uh, product coordination is probably the strongest um, element of Stampin' Up! is just the product coordination and the color coordination, which is kind of, you know, inherent with the product coordination. So let's just do a little bow like so. And I think that won't add too much bulk and kind of be really cute there. 
So let's pop that on with a little bit of, and you know, sometimes what I like to do when I'm wanting to make sure this is gonna stay really flat, typically I just put a mini glue dot in the center of my bow, but if you attach one to the uh, tails as well, you can secure them down and then they're not, you know, kind of flying out in ways that um, maybe in placement that you don't want or in such a way that it's hard to get into your um, envelope. So that makes my bow really nice. Um, okay, let's see. Now I got one more little thing and that is we're gonna add a little bit of bling. So let's see where we can go with a little bit of bling. I got a couple of options here by way of rhinestones. So I can either tap into these actually are, this is the holiday rhinestones, which y'all know are my one of my all time absolute favorites. Although this is, um, although this is pool party, it, it has that greenish cast to it. Um, I really like these shaded spruce because it picks up the spruce in here. But I also think that these, um, these are the champagne and they pick up the kind of pale part of the uh, raspberries. So uh, tell me what you think about rhinestones and we will pop those on and then that's gonna be done and we are gonna move on to the next card, but before we do, we are going to stamp the envelope. I'm going to be giving these away today, and these are going to be mailed out, which is, I told you guys, there would be prizes all week, and there will indeed, so uh, I'm going to be giving out the, um, the projects that I'm making, and I have, uh, a couple of numbers that I've written down ahead of time. And then I will just go into the comments and find those numbers. You know, I keep coming over here and not having a chamois. And I have a number of chamois in my studio. Okay, shaded spruce, it is great mind thinking alike here. into the routine of daily Facebook lives. Y'all are my guinea pig. You're at the beginning, the very first one. By the time I hit the fourth one, I'll have this down, really down. What I wanted to do was use that leaf on the, um, on the envelope. Okay, so let's go with the shaded spruce rhinestones, and let's start with right here tone on tone, look at that. And then let's just bring them a few more. Come on, baby. Hmm, let's see. Oh, I like that with the green. And then another one with more green down here. And then let's just get a little bit of this onto the red because then you've got that nice contrast and maybe can I get away with that? Nah, that's not going to work. Oh, I could probably do that. So what do we think? I have to put the green, uh, not the green, the white on the inside. So let me show you what we're going to do. Let me pop these over into my little basket. And what we need is we need a three and three quarter by two and three quarter panel for the inside. And I'm doing two of these cards, so I'm going to do two of these. Now you remember that our focal image is four inches by three inches, and we're gonna go down a quarter inch for both the length and, um, I just did three and three quarters. Okay, so I need to go two and three quarters. No, what did I do? No, that's three and three quarters. Okay, boy, this just seems big. Okay, two and three quarters is there. So my length and width are three and three quarters by two and three quarters, super easy. And um, 
Yeah, that's okay, Kim. Shared spruce, shaded spruce. Yeah, it's uh, anytime we're typing on Facebook, it, c it could be any any direction. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put a um, a leaf on here, and I think we'll actually do two. And uh, that's just going to kind of pick up that same theme. I do like recurring, uh, recurring images in my, oh, I didn't mean to go shaded spruce, but there we go. I did. So we will just do it again. And I need to stamp this off. So let's go here. And then I'm going to go like that. So that is going to go on the inside super fun images. Let's just pop that down. Hey, Penny from Houston, welcome. I'm glad you're here. And I think Mary, you slipped in and I hadn't seen you. So welcome, welcome. Here we go. Let's pop this in. Oh, you know what? I stuck my thing down. That's gonna have to be corrected. Okay. That is going right there, carrying my theme through. Oh no, I did okay. Okay, so there's my card. And there is a little fun fold, wishing you the very best. Very much an all occasion card. You could do this for happy birthday. You could do this for congratulations. You could do it for a whole host of things. And this is just a quarter sheet of cardstock with a five and a quarter by four inch layer. And then this is 12 by three that's been scored at four and eight. So super quick and easy, but I think it looks pretty fancy and, um, but still uh, very much in line with the um, kind of casual fruit images. And so the only other thing I need to do here is stamp my envelope. Let's do it like so. And somebody is going to win this card today. It's going to go in the mail to one of our lucky viewers. So let's go here. And then let's go here. Isn't that a beautiful, I love this leaf image here. So that gives me a lovely card there. And for those of you who are coming in a bit later, yes, uh, Peggy, this is a great use of designer paper. And I think that that is something that, you know, designer paper has so many things to recommend it. This is my original. And I was using some annual catalog items, the uh, Forever Greenery, and just decided I would take it and um, use it today with some celebration paper. So this is 12 inches by three on the DSP Kim. And then you just, you score it at four and eight. So you can get four of these pieces out of a single piece of designer paper. Most of us have more designer paper than we need. So I'm wanting us to uh, use our designer series paper and not hoard it. Okay, now we're gonna go totally different direction. Same stamps, same paper, but instead of the reds and greens here with the raspberries, we're gonna go with the blues and greens of the blueberries. And then we have to decide which side of the paper we're gonna use. And just, a, just to show you, you know, look at, the, look at the back side of this. So there's no, there's no ugly side to anything here. Okay, so let's go ahead. I've chosen, this is actually my favorite piece of this gorgeous designer series paper. And this is the blueberries. And I am pairing the um, Pacific Point with Just Jade. And, oh, you know what? Before I do that, I need to stamp it. So I think what I'm going to do this time, on this one, I used that same leaf image and just did some tone-on-tone -tone stamping. But this one uses more of the other leaf image that's in the stamp set. So it's instead of this kind of um, jagged image, we are going to use the uh, this other kind of long skinny leaf. So, oh, did, Diane, you love that. Uh, you love that uh, blueberry piece too. And Jackie likes the blues and greens color combo. So I think we'll get a lot of love for this card as well. 
So let's just see what we can do with creating a little bit of um, texture and depth without actually adding any texture, um, actually adding any kind of bulk whatsoever. But just use our stamps to do something here that, oh, I don't think my block is big enough. Rats. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I'll just use the blueberry image instead because I don't want to have to leave you again, yet again. So I think that we will just do the blueberry image. Now, when you look at the stamp set and you see all of these kind of solid images, that allows you to fill that in um, with a bit of... Um, with a bit of ink. So let's try this here. And here we go. Okay, let's just do a little bit of tone on tone. This is Just Jade, one of our new in colors. Just Jade ink and Just Jade um, cardstock. And I'm just going to run this little, oh, I like that this little blueberry image kind of all around here. And some will be one direction, some the other direction. And that gives us a little bit of variety. They're almost like little bubbles, aren't they? They're very cute little blueberries, or as the English would say, blueberries. You know, many of you will know if you've been um, hanging around me much, uh, we spent nine years in the UK and um, our youngest son moved there a couple years ago with his family. So I and my youngest grandchild was born in September in the UK. So I have my two youngest children live in England, which is kind of rough sometimes because we don't get to see them very often. And with COVID, of course, it's been even more challenging. Oh, look at how cute that is. I mean, I have to say, you could go in either direction, but I have a feeling we're going to have the... Um, blueberries sh uh, showing out. So we are actually um, scheduling, which we have to schedule <laughs> to talk with our kids in England. We have to schedule it. Um, we're doing FaceTime with them on Thursday, um, you know, with a six hour time difference and trying to coordinate between my son's work schedule and the baby's nap times and bedtimes and wanting to be able to see them um, on camera. And yeah, it's <laughs> nursing schedules. Yeah, it's, uh, we gotta do, gotta jump through a lot of hoops, but you know, what we would not do for those grandkids. Now, let me just show you, that would be cute. However, that is gonna be where we're gonna go. And depending on, um, your designer series paper, sometimes it has a pattern that goes in one direction. Like this one here, you can see that the plants, you need them facing in one particular direction. So I have it coming out this way. But if you needed to, you could have your card opening this way. So just to let you know, <laughs> I know this by experience, if you have already cut your paper and it's such that you can't get it to open this way, you know, just flip it over um, and do it the other way. Yes, it is Pacific Point, Diane. It is that gorgeous, gorgeous blue. There's nothing like it. Um, it is bold and beautiful, great for guy cards. Um, but as you can see, it works just as well with um, our more, uh, this is very much a, a gender neutral, I think. Um, I would, you know, this would be for the guys or the girls, either one, to be honest. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I think, let's see which one of these little tags we're gonna put on here. So as I said, I cut several, and I've got just jade here, which I think is what, probably what we're gonna end up using. I think it needs that darker color. Um, or mint macaron going with the lighter one or picking up the lighter blue here. So um, 
yeah, I mean white, it just kind of gets lost. So I'm gonna go with one of these colors for the, um, for our little greeting, which is wishing you the very best. Just Jade. Okay, I think I think that's a good I think that's a good option, a good choice, Velma. And um, like I said, I a lot of times when I'm doing Facebook Lives here with you guys, I don't know, I just kind of grab some stuff and hope I'll have some things in my head. But this is what I had to work with. So <laughs> these had not been created before I got in camera. But I do enjoy um, creating with y'all and kind of hearing your input. And to me, it feels like we're doing this together. It feels like we're in card class. And uh, you know those things, those live card classes we used to have before the pandemic? That's what it feels like to me. Um, you know what? What I did before, and I'm gonna do again, is I actually stamped this in shaded spruce to make it just a little bit darker. So I think I'm gonna do that again for the words, but then I'm going to um, um, sponge it with just jade. So let's see, wishing you the very best with our cute little tag from the ornate frames. I think that's what it's called, ornate frames. Let me grab it and see so I don't lead you astray. Let's see, ornate frames, that's it. 11 different little pieces there. Um, and I do, you know, when I'm done here, I do go in, sometimes it takes me a day or two, <laughs> but I need to get done today if I'm gonna do these seven days in a row. Uh, I do go in and um, create a little inspiration sheet for you so that it lists all of the supplies and it also so that, um, I mean, you see the demonstration, you don't need instructions, but I do like to be able to give you dimensions so that um, if you're wanting to create this on your own, then you have a record. The other thing that the um, inspiration sheet is good for is you can actually print it, which means that instead of having to constantly look at the screen, you can just um, print that and put it into a little file or a notebook, whatever you have. I know I keep my fun folds, I have them in a file. A sample of each one or a inspiration sheet for each one so that um, it would um, yeah you're right you know the Pacific Point would have looked really nice on here Jackie I didn't think of that ahead of time because to be honest I was planning to use this side of the paper but yeah when I put it down like that I was like no that's not it's too too dark too dull so let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit because it is a little bit, you know, a lot of the same color. So let's see if we add a little bit of this jaunty um, white tool might perk things up a little bit or the white seam binding might perk things up a little bit. So tell me what you're thinking on that. And um, I think, let's see, what else do we have here? Now, I do think I want this, this little guy here. I really do want this leaf, the white tool, and the white seam binding. You know what? We might just do both. That might be kind of fun. Let's just see if it would be too bulky. Let me try. You know, we did this double ribbon on a project last week, or actually two weeks ago, because last week was the snowpocalypse here in Texas. Um, we did one where we actually did um, a double layer of ribbon and it turned out really pretty. So let's just see if we can't do that. Because um, both of these ribbons are quite thin. So I'm thinking, oh, oh, I'm thinking I like this. That's going to be fun, flirty. Oh my, yeah. Oh, look at there. Look how much that's gonna perk that up. All that pretty ribbon. Okay, and I'm getting some hearts from somebody. So that really makes me know I'm going in the right direction. Look at that pretty bow. I think that definitely brightened things up. So let's pop 
this on with a couple of dimensionals. And you know, the other thing that would have looked really pretty here, and I was trying to, you know, kind of be quick, um, if I weren't making two cards, what I probably could have done is, this would have been really pretty in white embossing. That would have also really brightened things up. So let's have, ooh, color the seam binding in Pacific Point. Ooh, I like that, Sharon. Didn't even think of that. See, this is the fun. When we do it together, we just get some great ideas. So I know that some of y'all already have this bundle and I would love for you to um, share a card and either tag me or you can just upload it right here on my Sweet Stamper page. Oh, I do like that. Oh my gosh. You know, there's, there's something about the tool of the seam binding here that just is kind of wedding-y. Uh, I know it's not a word, wedding-ish. That's not a word either, but I do think it's kind of fun. So let's see what we can do by adding a little bit of bling. I thought these might be kind of fun. These are the balmy blue um, gems that were left from, or carried over, not left. They were carried over from the, um, from the holiday book. And um, I also have these elegant faceted. These white ones here would be really pretty. Again, bringing some white in here. Um, so tell me what y'all are thinking. Let me get rid of these backings here and see. Oh, Simone, you're so you're so welcome. Don't forget, I'm gonna be back here. Tuesday at two happens tomorrow. Not Tuesday at two. Teach me Tuesday. I used to be called Tuesday at 2, and then I branched out to Thursday, so Teach Me Tuesday happens on Tuesday. I needed a big, needed a big block so I can fit that, I want to use that leaf stamp on my on the inside of my card. Okay, lots of votes for the blue. Let's go, I think the blue picks up the light really nicely and effectively adds a little bit of gold in this without actually adding gold because they're, these are kind of almost holographic. Um, they're really cool looking. Now, because these are larger, um, I am going to opt, ooh, that's so pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to opt for putting on a smaller number of them and um, or yeah I think I will and using some of these big ones kind of goes with the whole and look how oh I do like this you see how they are um, here we go with repeating patterns again um, I do like the fact that we've got these round blueberries here, the round blueberries here, and then a round um, embellishment here. Uh, and then we've even got the dots in the ribbon. And that's just where you just get that coordinated look um, when everything comes together like that. So Simone, I'm glad you're going to be here. Um, my 12 by 12 DSP, I will show you what I, um, I actually had um, one, of the, one of the girls who comes and helps me in my studio was asking me for that link and I'll show you what I use. Um, let me get my little piece of paper here as we finalize this and do our drawing for the um, cards are going to be sent in the mail to some lucky person, persons too. So let's just do a little bit of, hmm, you know what, I'm going to stamp this off. Where's my scrap paper? Where to put my scrap paper? I always keep, this is actually laminated, so I don't want to stamp on this. And here is, well, there is my numbers that I had um, posted before we came on. So number four and number 44, that means comment number four and comment number 44 are going to get my two cards. Isn't that cute? I think I might put just a little bit down here. I probably 
probably should just leave it alone now. <laughs> I'm going to keep messing with it. Uh, what is it? Two o'clock every day. So two o'clock central time every day. I normally do two o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And because of the whole, you know, the craziness that we had in Texas last week and we were kind of out of out of touch with everybody for a week or almost a week, I decided that I would kind of take this week and just celebrate the end of celebration and the joy of communication, online communication, um, by doing a daily Facebook Live with y'all here. Now, the one other thing I want to do is let's grab this and let's take our leaf. And, you know, one of the things that I personally have a penchant for is that when we are stamping, I typically don't use 10 tons of different ink colors. Um, so really, I used shaded spruce for stamping and um, actually shaded, shaded spruce and just jade on both of these cards and that was all the that's all the ink that we used i did do a little background stamping here with the um poppy parade thank you so much for sharing my uh, my video this really does help me guys so if anybody would like to share this it helps me tremendously and that's just you just hit the little share button down at the bottom of your of the screen here and it just shares to you can share it to your facebook wall and it's really not even a matter of who, of how many people see it per se. It's just a, it's part of the algorithm that um, Facebook has. And so when these get shared, um, it really helps those of us who are creating the videos. Of course, it does matter in the who sees it in the sense that somebody might see this and say, "Hey, that looks like fun. Um, do you do this? Can I come stamp with you?" And then we just spread the joy of card making. So let me just tidy up my space here a wee bit. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing this every day. A lot of times, uh, you know, I will give you true confessions. I will leave everything as is and walk away from it, go down and have a cup of tea, and then get busy doing other things. And I don't come back to this space until my next Facebook Live which is typically a couple of days later. Well, I'm going to be back here again tomorrow. So I have to make sure that I come in here and really tidy things up. Now, let me tell you how I'm going to do the drawing as well while I'm tidying things up. So the drawing for the projects today um, will go to number four and number 44 on the comments. And what's nice about when I go back in and look at the comments to see, count up who is going to get um, the cards. What's nice is there's a timestamp. So I can see um, on Facebook, I can actually see what time the comments came in. So I don't, so I can accurately, you know, do the distribution of the free projects. So again, these will be for number four and number 44 on the comments. I will put a shout out on there once I do the drawing, and which is means I go in and you know find the comments. And I will give you a picture of these and um, help you to uh, celebrate with the winners. Again, this is our fun little fold. I do, I think, I really, really love the way this came out. And I appreciate all the input here. Um, because, hey, Linda, I'm glad you're here. Um, yeah, and Linda's going to be part of my bingo night Thursday, so that's going to be fun. We're going to be stamping as well as playing bingo and winning prizes. All of my bingo prizes are uh, stamping up gift certificates, so that means you get to choose whatever you want, and um, I'm super excited about that. Um, but I loved the fact that we did this together and the way that, like I said, when I, I started, I was thinking I was going to go with this side of the designer paper. But I think the, the feedback and the input here um, helped me to choose the, um, this came through. And then these blue gems with that double ribbon, I think, are just a little bit of magic. And uh, you know, the other thing I really like about this, and I did do a blog post actually today. Oh no, it's a different card. Never mind. Um, no, no, 
not a blog. Anyway, I'm creating a blog post. That's why it's in my head. Hey, Barb, I'm glad you're here. Um, I like this because if you don't want to have to write a lot inside, sometimes I'm a chatty Cathy, so I will write tons on the inside of a card, but sometimes you just want to write a little note. And this is perfect for that. And it's also perfect for using up that designer series paper. Not only do we need to use up the designer series paper, but honestly, it's one of my all-time favorite products to use because it is so very gorgeous. So my bingo, my online bingos, Kim, are $39. And um, I do have another one coming up in March, so I will put that information here. Um, the one that's coming up this Thursday, uh, you know, it, I wouldn't be able to get you the stuff in time. So with your $39, you get three to four stamping projects, and they're, they're this kind of quality, I mean, they're nice quality, and I'll share them with you later in the week after we've done bingo. I want it to be a surprise for my bingo folks. And then you get a bingo card as well. You have the option to add on a couple of extra bingo cards. And um, so we do that on Zoom. And so we're going to play a couple of games of bingo. We're going to have some door prizes, play some more bingo. Then we're going to stamp together. And um, so, yeah, the make and takes, actually, this time I was able to include a stamp set in the make and takes, which was really cool. But that's part of the joy of um, celebration. So, Cynthia, I'm glad you like the cards. And um, it, it's just a little bit of online virtual design team is what we become when we do this together. And again, for those of you who came in late, this was my original that I had made using some products from our annual catalog. This is the Forever Greenery. And, um, but I wanted to showcase some of our celebration paper. So I am doing daily Facebook Live starting today. We will go all the way through to March the 1st, every day at two o'clock. I may have to change the time on Friday because that's the day I have my grandkids here in San Antonio. But I will give you plenty of notice if I have to pop on in the morning instead of the afternoon. Um, but I will be showcasing celebration stamps, papers all week. And uh, just helping you get inspired if you already have these this berry bundle, um, which includes this gorgeous designer series paper and the stamp set. If you already have this bundle, I've just given you some great ideas on how to use it. And um, if you don't yet have it, um, I hope you're getting inspired to add this to your order. All you have to do is place a $100 order and then you get the stamps and the uh, designer series paper for free. So that is, uh, oh, don't forget the DSP storage. Thank you. Uh, you know what? I've got it sitting right here, actually. So Sharon asks how I uh, store my designer series paper. Now I do have some uh, cubby hole things and I'll, I, might do, I might do a studio tour this week. If I can get things tidied up a little bit more in here, I'll do a studio tour this week with you guys during Facebook Live. That would be kind of fun. I haven't done one of those in a while. Um, so I have some cubby holes, but I mean, they're, they're like wood. They're raw wood. So these are the sleeves that I get from Amazon, and they come in a set of three. And I think they're like $8.50 or something. And I like, I, I typically don't use, you could label this. Um, I use it as a pull tab. But what I like about this is I will put all of the paper that is um, cut into here. And then if I have a full set, I'll put it underneath. So if this hasn't been opened, I'll put it underneath on the same shelf. And then the, you know, how do you store all of these little bits and pieces? They're still very usable bits and pieces. So I want to contain them. And I found this is just a really good way to do it. I like the fact that it's clear and I can see it, but it's heavy enough uh, to protect the paper. And then, like I said, that just kind of gives me a little pull tab. So it sounds like a studio tour is on the docket for this week. I will give you a heads up when that is going to happen. So thank you again for being with me today. It's been fun. It's good to be back in the groove here. And I missed you last week um, in the midst of our snow apocalypse. But um, yeah, I had lots of cuddle time with my Roscoe and... Um, 
Uh, yeah, you're cleaning up your space. Yeah. Oh, good stuff, Sharon. Okay. So I will look and see if I can find that link again on Amazon because I just shared it with one of my one of my helpers. So that is it for today. Thank you so much. Take care. God bless. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Uh, Sweet Stamper, facebook.com slash Sweet Stamper. Thank you so much for sharing the video. Thank you so much for your design input. And whoever watches in the replay, thank you also for tuning in. Take care and God bless.